Alright guys, welcome back to the most amazing gaming channel in the world. Today we're going to be revisiting Ares. Uh, this is going to be, I believe, on patch 3.11, so it's been quite a bit of time and I wanted to come back and give you guys a better updated build. So the first thing you're going to want to upgrade is going to be your 3. I'm going to try and go through this a little bit slower because some people have wanted me to. On the other side of things, right before we do start this, if you haven't already, go follow that Twitch and Twitter down below. And let's get started now. So go into your three. The next one that I go into is the one. Then I go into my three, my two, my ult, and then I'll finish off my three. Um, there's no reason for me to upgrade the ult personally because it's only a one second stun. That is it. The damage only goes up by 75, which isn't... I mean, it's decent, but it's not that amazing given the fact that most of them are going to beads it anyways they'll still take damage but you know it, it's it's more of a utility ult to basically bait out their e beads so that other people can do things rather than you actually be able to pull someone i mean i'm more shocked when i pull someone rather than oh they beads oh they counter ulted oh they did an ability to counter so really, the ult isn't that great. Yes, I do understand the damage still goes up, but it's just not up there. So then I start going into my one. The one is going to be very, very helpful as well. So go into your one, then come back and finish your three. Go back and finish off your one. And then go and finish your two, because yes, I even feel the CC reduction and everything is going to be absolutely amazing with him, as well as the extra protections. And then go into your ult. So basically the level up process is going to be 3, 1, 3, 2, ult. And then max your 3, 1, 2, ult in that order. Um, to actually start going through the build, the real reason why you guys came here. Now the first thing you're, you're going to want to grab is going to be... Um, depending on the mode but most of the time i go shoes of focus this is going to be very very helpful now don't pay attention to this this was the the old build um the next one you're going to want to grab is going to be breastplate of valor i heavily like this because it gives you that good cooldown reduction this means that level two or not level two but you know usually you're going to have this you know your second item pretty quick here. This is already going to give you that 30% cooldown reduction, which is going to be amazing. However, if you are in something like Conquest, you're going to need Traveler's Boots because he doesn't have any sort of movement speed. Like a Gab has a rollout, a Capri has a dash, and everything else like that. He's going to need a Traveler's Shoes in order to stay with, with them. The next item that I would go into will be Genji's Guard. Now this will, after three items, give you basically everything you need. It gives you some good mana uh, regen. It's gonna give you the pretty decent health regen. And you're going to have, at the very least, 30 cooldown reduction, and at the most, 40. Super helpful. At this point, you will want to start to counter build. Um, depending on who you have, if you have a Scylla, something like a Void Stone, is not going to be a counter build, but it's going to help your team. If you do land a pull, which may, you know, not happen very often, but if you go in, you already know their beads are down, you get a five-man pull into a Scylla ult, Voidstone is super, super going to help. Um, but on top of that, other things that you may want to look into, um, I find myself going into Nemean Lion because Apollo and Rama and Artemis are almost always played in ranked, Height of the Nemean is very good. Uh, depending on who they have as their jungler, if they have a Hoon Bots because of his passive, or a Mercury, most of the time if they do have a Mercury, I'll go Mid Guardian and Nemean, and then I'll go back in and do something like a Mantle of a Discord. Um, the rest I would say kind of keep up to counter building and helping your own team. Witchblade could be pretty good as well as since it is an Aura item. Just kind of keep in mind though for you all, it wouldn't be bad. Um, to pick up aura items just don't make your entire build around it like i had on my last one if they do if everyone has good attack speed like if you're going up against a soul like a mercury and like an apollo or rama witch blade would be very very good you pick up a witch blade with a you know with, with i would say only one of them and go nemean and not mid guardian because you already have a debuff on their speed and then go back into something else it would be very helpful um but if you really want, you could probably sacrifice uh, Genji's Guard and pick up Heartward. This does give you 65 uh, magic protections and it also gives you the mana per 5 seconds. However, it does not give you 
the cooldown reduction or the passive on it. So just kind of keep that in mind. Aura items definitely do work with his passive, but it's just not, I would not recommend getting your entire build based off of aura items. So I do appreciate you guys for checking out the revisit here. Hopefully it will work for you. Um, because this is a guardian, there is that reason why I'm not doing all three, um, or all six items there. So let's do that. Ares is pretty good, especially with the pretty low cooldown. You get nine seconds for shackles and they last for four. Like, just to show you that, 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 and they're gone with two seconds left. I'd say that's pretty goddamn decent. Um, Ares is very good. I do want to get better at him. But anyways, long story short, thank you so much for watching. And until the next time, have yourself a fucking amazing life.